The story of the jack-o'-lantern begins with the story of Stingy Jack. There once lived a scoundrel known as Stingy Jack. Jack had the reputation of being the vilest trickster in all of Ireland. After Jack died, he asked the devil to buy him a drink before he went to hell. Out of respect for the crook, the devil took him to the local pub and bought him many drinks. Jack told the devil that he did not have any money to pay and asked the beast to turn himself into a silver coin. After doing this, Jack put the coin in his pocket where he had a holy cross, thus trapping the devil there. Jack promised the devil freedom if he were to be spared from damnation and allowed to wander the earth as an immortal. They say Jack still lives, carrying a hallowed turnip as a lantern. So that's the tale of Stingy Jack. Now it might seem silly today to believe in an immortal guy named Jack going around terrorizing people, but in 1837, people actually did. In 1837 and 1838, Londoners believe they are being terrorized by an immortal flying vampire known as spring Heel Jack. Now that's some pretty scary stuff. But the true history of Jack Lanterns dates long before the story of Stingy Jack. While many will tell you the first jack-o'-lanterns were made of turnips, they were mostly made from rutabaga. The Irish would have just referred to rutabaga as large turnips. In the 19th century Ireland, Gaelic-speaking Celts celebrated Halloween as Samhain, marking the end of the harvest and the beginning of the dark half of the year. During this time, it was believed that the Eeshi, a race of elves, would roam the earth. Like Jack, these elves were often tricksters, and people celebrating Samhain would make jack-o'-lanterns to scare away the harmful spirits. This is probably why we don't see any elves until around Christmas time. Jack-o'-lanterns were later placed on window sills to keep harmful spirits out of the home. After Christianity was spread throughout Ireland, Samhain became the Eve of All Saints Day, or Hallow's Eve, and the jack-o'-lanterns meaning changed to souls in purgatory. It was after that that the story of Stingy Jack was created. The story of Stingy Jack also represents this idea of purgatory with Jack being immortal and unable to enter either heaven or hell after his death. The term Jack-o'-lantern was first used in the Dublin Penny Journal in 1835. It was around this time that Irish immigrants in North America were using pumpkins to carve jack-o'-lanterns instead of the traditional turnips. Pumpkins eventually became more popular than the turnips, which is a shame as they never quite achieved the same terrifying look as their predecessors. <laughs>